Hey, what's good, BT Gang? And we back with another banger, man. Thank y'all so much for tuning in with me, man. I'm BT, and welcome to BT Sense. Today, we got a little bit of a budget banger, man. I've been excited. I've been wearing this. I've been waiting to talk about it. But before we get to that, man, I hope all is well with y'all. Shout out to y'all for all the love as well, man. We just surpassed 900 subscribers. We're on the way to that 1K, bro. This is insane. I did not expect this channel to do anything like this. I was just making it just to make it and just express myself and, you know, find other weirdos like y'all. You know, y'all are just like me. We all weirdos in this. So I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. But today, y'all know I love my Alexandria fragrances, man. My favorite cloning house by far. Did a video on it so far. Y'all let me know also. I got a video idea coming down below. Y'all let me know if y'all will be interested in, you know, a little treat, a little surprise. But nonetheless, Alexandria Fragrances, we got a 10 mil decant right here. I ordered this a little while ago. And this one is called Nostalgia. This one, I don't know if y'all can see that. It's called Nostalgia. Now, what Nostalgia is, it's a very, 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 very good rendition of MFK's Oud Satin Mood, the EDP, not the X Straight, the Oud Satin Mood. And I think... Honestly, bro, if you uh, MFK is pretty much, I think they're like a safe niche fragrance, but they have really, really high quality. Even though like BR540, everybody loves that one. Also, what is it? Uh, What's the gold one? The amber looking one. I forget. Grand Soir. Everybody loves Grand Soir. Uh, Geno Fluidity. Everybody loves that. I feel like Oud Satin Mood is probably their most daring DNA in my opinion. So I, I didn't want to drop the full, you know, bones on the OG bottle. So I went ahead and copied me a sample to see if I would like the DNA. And boys, and and women, and boys and girls, boys and girls, because this is unisex as well. Oh my goodness! Let me read the notes to y'all, man. On this one, this is this is something else. We got Turkish rose, we got Bulgarian rose, we got oud, we got. I know, I know. Relax, relax. We got vanilla, we got benzoin, and then we got violet. I know y'all hearing that oud, and y'all like ooh, oud, oud. BT wearing oud, and listen, I'm telling you, I'm coming around to the oud, man. I know it scares a lot of people, but hey. And that winter time and that fall time, we get a breezy spring day as well. I'm telling you, this works right. So what this smells like to me is like a candy. You get a lot of that violet. It, it literally smells purple, honestly. Like it, it, it has that violet smell. It's really powdery. You got both of those roses working together. But the oud in this is not, it's not in the forefront. It's barely there. It's like, it's literally this much. I would say maybe like 10% of oud, 5% maybe of oud, because this oud is not strong in this, man. What you get in this is the rose, the violet, and this like powdery feel that makes it like really, really sweet and alluring. And the thing about this one, if you like smell it up close, it's cool, it's nice, it's fine. But the siage and the air of this, oh my goodness. And I got to tell y'all a story too. I wore this to work the other day. And my man, he loves, uh, he, he he wears all the MFKs, the Baccarat's, the Oud Satin Moves. He has all of those. So whenever I wear a Club de Nuit Untold, he always thinks I have Baccarat on. And I wore this just to test him out around him at work. And he was like, you got, the, you got that uh, Oud Satin Mood on, don't you? And I was like, uh, I just started laughing. I was like, I don't know, do I? But basically, he thought it was Oud Satin Mood, bro. And he's like, he's not a snob, but like he has a good idea of what the real thing smells like. Because he's always smelling stuff. He has it in his collection. He wears it from time to time. And I wore it to work. He was like, okay. And if something can get past his radar, I feel like it can get past 95% of the, you know, the regular non-fraghead pop population. You feel me? But I will say, this is not, in my opinion, this is not an everyday wear. It can be if you really want it to be. But for me personally, this is like a special event, nighttime occasion, like type fragrance when it's cold, breezy. You can definitely pull this off on a cold spring day. Uh, winter time, fall time. It's just, I don't see it being like, it's just kind of dark, mysterious, and it has a special, like, like heavier feel to it. You feel me? Like, it's not, you can wear it during the day. I've done it. I wore it to work, but, and it was fine. Got positive attention from people. Like I said, the Seattle on this is amazing. It's attention grabbing. And the thing that's really, really crazy about this one is the performance on this is crazy, y'all. So, um, also, let me tell you another story. I sprayed this on my neck, right? Before I go to work and I put it, I put it like a, a little bubble like coat on and the coat touches my neck. It rubs against my neck while I'm walking to work. So I take the coat off while I'm at work, blah, blah, blah. And I leave. I put the coat on. I come back. I go walk home and uh, somebody's like I'm walking past somebody. They're like, oh, what you got on? I'm like, obviously it's on the coat. And I'm like, uh, I just tell them MFK who's had moved because I just want to. I didn't really like, feel like talking. And they were like, that's nice. And, excuse me. And then. I get that jacket a break. 
And I believe it was the middle of the week. And then to a Saturday or Sunday, I put the same jacket on. And it was, that oud that sad mood DNA was going so strong off my jacket. The rejection and longevity on this stuff is monstrous. You got to be careful. I remember the first time I sprayed this on, I did like four sprays around the neck. And I choked myself out, bro. And I never choked myself out. I never choked myself out. Trust me, I done sprayed a lot of stuff. But this was, it was becoming nauseating. It was it was doing too much because I sprayed way more than what I needed. So I would say maybe like three sprays around the neck, like max, because this stuff is nuclear, bro. Like nuclear. And I think it has something to do with that oud in the base. Also with that benzoin, not the benzoin. Uh, the, is, the, is it like a, a vanilla violet or something like that in this? But it's, it's, it's strong. Nonetheless, it's very, very strong, sweet stuff. So it's a no-no for high heat. Um... Definitely a good date night scent as well if you know watch the sprays. But this is really really nice, and it'll be really nice for late for the ladies out there too, man. This is definitely unisex. This is like high level tier type DNA, man, and it's definitely gonna be uh, polarizing because everybody's wearing the Ooth, the uh, MFK uh, Baccarats and the uh, Extraits and uh, what did I say before Grand Soir. So this is like different. Like this is a, uh, I wouldn't say this is like intermediate niche because this is like one of the a complex not a complex dna because it has a couple notes but it's just different you know it's really really different i wouldn't call it um uh, i don't know if i would say it's mass appealing but it's like i said it's polarizing and people around you will take notice so if you want to stand out be different you want something for your special occasion nights or this is your daily wear because like alexandra fragrance is this Get this right here, you'd be totally fine. Oh, oh, also I will say, I got I forgot to talk. I smell MFK's Usad Mood and Sax. It smells just like this. Just like this. I would say this is like 90%. Obviously, I think the, the quality is a little bit higher on that Usad of uh, the MFK, but that's what's expected, man. Look at the price tag of that one. Look at the price tag of this one. I got this decant for $20. And I know Alexandra Ferguson always has a 15% off if you use their code. I'm not sponsored. I bought all of these with my own money. I'm just trying to let y'all know on the sauce, man. This stuff is great, great, great. I might wear it tomorrow, actually, bro, because this stuff is nice, man. And the fact that it got my man's stamp of approval <laughs> does me good favors, bro. But like I said, this is a crowd pleaser. The see on this is where you get the real magic because that sweet rose in the air is just, it's, the, it's, the, it's delectable, man. It's, it is amazing. You know, I've, I've, uh, I smelled this before on somebody and I asked them and I was like, yeah, I got to get that DNA. I got to get that DNA. I promise the Siage on this is mesmerizing. This might be, I can't think of a better Siage of this in my collection, bro. Because this Siage, it, it is, and then we put that together with the strength of this fragrance and the longevity and the price and quality. You cannot go wrong with this one, man. So definitely, definitely tap into Alexandra Fragrance's Oud Satin Mood. I know there's a couple other DNAs, uh, a couple other, other clones out there. They're probably good too, but I went with Alexandra because that's what I'm comfortable with. Y'all could try it out on uh, any other clone house, but I'm recommending them. So yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think down below. Once again, thank you for 900 subscribers, man. It means the world to me. We are growing. We are building towards something special, man. And we're doing it together, bro. So yeah, I appreciate y'all. Y'all stay blessed. Peace. Love y'all.